Hello, my name is Logan and I'm your host, The Mighty Pirate. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Ice Ferret, also known as the Fenris. My sources for today's video are Technical Readout 3050 and Sarna.net. The Ice Ferret, or the Fenris as it is known in the Inner Sphere, is the most heavily used medium Omnimac of the Wolf Arsenal. Ironically, it was supposed to be Ice Hellion's answer to Clan Wolf's newly debuted Timberwolf Heavy Omnimac. Emphasizing speed and firepower, the Clan's typical traits, Many of their warriors boasted that they could declaw the mighty wolves, producing the then-named wolf hunters as fast as they could since 2948. Tired of the constant harassment, many wolf units began challenging Ice Hellions for possession of their wolf hunters. For the next five years, the Ice Hellions lost 80% of their wolf hunters, including their production facility on Tranquil to the wolves. The wolves renamed the Omnimac to the Ice Ferret after the Hellion's sole natural predator. The campaign soured the other clans from desiring the Omnimac as it had lost so many trials. But the wolves instead created a slew of new configurations for it and spread it through their ranks, where it became a highly valued reconnaissance and support design. Many of the Fenris configurations revolve around a single long-range primary gun backed up by several short-range batteries. This gives the Mech Warrior a distinct advantage over other speed centered designs that, that typically utilize a slew of light, short range weapons. Few versions differ, mainly the long range fire support C configuration and the more traditional D version mounting four medium pulse lasers. Newer versions seen in the past decade have been gaining popularity. The Wolves in Exile mount an additional advanced missile rack for the Fenris's main weapon, while Khan Ward's configuration uses a pair of heavy lasers as secondary weapons in his clan's H configuration. The newest L version utilizes the latest acquired technology from the Felons Wolves, mounting a plasma cannon and a trio of anti-personnel gosses tied to a targeting computer. Used to fight against the rising use of non-battle mech forces, the Crusader Wolves have copied this configuration for use in their home territories when expecting to fight proto-mechs and elemental heavy forces. While researching the Ice Ferret, I also found out that there was a configuration U designed specifically for underwater combat. It carries a short-range torpedo launcher 4, a long-range torpedo launcher 5, a pair of ER medium lasers, and is equipped with seven UMUs. For those of you that don't know, the UMU is the Underwater Maneuvering Unit. It was first created by Clan Goliath Scorpion in 3059 for their Undyne Battle Armor. Once word of this trickled to the, back to the inner sphere, several manufacturers began experimenting with creating a battle mech sized version. Several Solaris arenas provided a test bed for the technology and the information gained by these experimental units, particularly the Aqua Gladys, led to the creation of a series of working prototypes. Only useful when completely submerged, the UMU uses a modified water jet system to propel the battle mech through the water. Or this makes the unit far faster and more agile underwater, but also works against the UMU equipped unit. A battle mech equipped with a UMU may not exceed its normal walking speed when underwater, nor may it use jump jets. That will conclude my video on the Ice Ferret. Thanks so much for watching guys, I look forward to making the next one.